Good morning everyone. I hope we're all well. Apologies for my appearance. I honestly need to stop starting these videos looking like this. But today is a shoot day, so hopefully as the video goes on, my appearance will hopefully improve. As you will have seen from the title today, I am filming a what I eat in a day. Honestly, I eat something different every day, so this isn't what I eat every single day. Um, but I love watching these videos. I've had a few people ask me to film this video. I just wanted to put a quick trigger warning in if these kind of videos do trigger you then I have loads of other videos that you can go and watch yeah if you feel like this video is not good for you to watch then please feel free to click off now I am not on a diet I don't calorie count I just kind of have my three meals a day and then if like eat when I'm hungry basically like I'm not a big snacker I don't really have a sweet tooth um, and I really like cooking, so I eat a lot of like fresh meals, um, I try to be as healthy as I can, but also I don't restrict myself. As you can see, I've just got out of the shower, it's about half nine. I don't really get hungry for breakfast, but I've really been enjoying having a smoothie for my breakfast. I just feel like it's good to get some fruit and veggies in and they just taste really nice. We mainly do our food shop at Aldi and they do these like frozen smoothie mixes of, there's loads of different ones like berry ones, tropical ones, there's a green juice one which I really like which is full of like spinach and kale and um, vegetables rather than just fruit where, and they have just fruit ones so yeah I just like to mix it up. I'm going to go and make a smoothie now. George is actually on a work call downstairs so I'll film it, if he doesn't have a go at me for having the blender on. Um, and I've never tried to do a voiceover before. I have no idea how to do a voiceover. But if I can figure out how to do a voiceover, then I'll voiceover. Or if that's too technical and complicated for me, then I'll just put writing on screen. I actually don't know what smoothie mixes we have left in the freezer, so I'll go and have a look. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like the sound of this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed it, any other videos that you want to see from me and yeah, let's get on into what I eat in a day. our little tropical smoothie I tried to show you in the clips all the other smoothie mixes that we have I didn't realize that we had so many to be honest this is so nice it's just nice and refreshing to have in the morning I'm just gonna get on with my morning now and I'll catch up with you at lunchtime if I have any snacks then I'll let you know but Honestly, I don't think I will. I'll see you at lunch. Bye. Right. Told you I would look a bit more presentable. It's half twelve and I'm hungry. So I'm just going to make um, some lunch now. And I'll take you along. Hopefully George isn't on a work call anymore. I haven't had any snacks or anything. I've literally just had that smoothie. We're just making his lunch. So... I'm not making you lunch. No, I know you're not making me lunch. We'll try again in five minutes. Okay, for lunch, I'm going to just do my sweet chilli chicken wrap, which if you've watched any of my other 
vlogs you have already seen a million times but it's just such a quick and easy lunch and it tastes really good i cook the chicken in the air fryer and just put some salad in so it's not the most unhealthy thing in the world first step is we need to heat up the air fryer obviously if you don't have an air fryer you need to get one i've just turned the air fryer on to 200 degrees for five minutes just to warm it up with the air fryer so the frozen like chicken goujons that i have in my wrap if i was to do them in the oven they would take 18 minutes in the air fryer they take six minutes and obviously any like fats and oils that come out of the chicken while they're cooking just drain away so your food isn't just sat in oil whilst the air fryer i'm sorry if you can just hear the air fryer i didn't think about that while the air fryer is warming up i'm just going to get everything else ready because it's honestly the quickest easiest lunch These are the wraps that I have from Aldi. These are the herb ones. Really nice. Okay. And then for inside my wrap, I basically just put whatever I have got in the fridge. So I've got some spinach. Some iceberg lettuce. Cucumber. And a little bit of cheese, of course. I'll only put the tiny bit in, I swear. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to put in. Obviously, the chicken as well. And then mayo and sweet chilli. It's basically just like a no-mess, easy lunch to do. And George actually says it tastes better than the McDonald's sweet chili chicken wraps so you need to get on to this I just do one wrap and for my lunch that's fine if i was really really hungry then i could have two but to be honest one wrap is enough i think i'm just gonna pop you on a time lapse while i just cut everything up because i'm conscious you can hear the air fryer and that's gonna be really irritating Obviously we have to give the boys a bit of cucumber each. Cucumber? These are the chicken goujons that I get. Just from Aldi, they did do, well, they still do southern fried chicken ones and they used to be really, really nice and now they've changed the ingredients and they're really greasy and horrible, so these will have to do. I'm just going to stick these. I'll put two of these in the air fryer for six minutes. Again, I can only apologize if you can just hear the air fryer. I'm going to leave a link to my exact air fryer down below because I think I paid like £60 for it and it's honestly amazing. Here is how the wrap is looking. So we've got spinach, lettuce, cucumber, cheese, mayo and sweet chilli sauce and then I'll add the chicken on. Like I said, I honestly make this using whatever is in the fridge. Red onion, tomato, corn. Literally just chuck anything in and it honestly always just tastes nice. Also really like instead of doing the chicken in the air fryer, do tuna mayo wraps really nice again with like red onion and 
red onion and sweet corn and cheese. The air fryer has beeped and turned off to tell me it's done. Here are my little chicken goujons. So you can see the air fryer has got holes in so any fats and oils just drain away. off right and then I just this is so hard to do one handed like chop and not I don't even worry about chopping all the way through just like that place it on top and there we go it's a bit messy because and hard to eat because I put so much stuff in so I usually just eat it over the chopping board to be honest and I can literally eat it in about 10 seconds. So that is lunch done. I feel very satisfied after that. And I've just got a can of Diet Coke and I'm just gonna carry on shooting. But yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. And if you haven't already tr tried making that wrap, highly recommend it, delicious, 10 out of 10. Right, see you later. Hi, me again. Right, George has gone to golf and said he won't be back until eight o'clock, so we obviously won't be having dinner until he gets back but it gives me time to sit and do my nails because as you can see my nails are very well not that bad but they're getting grown out so the focus on this camera is so slow yeah my nails are getting grown out so it gives me time to just sit chill out and do my nails and I am a little bit hungry. We, if George is not out playing golf or whatever, we tend, at the moment, we've been having dinner at like half six, seven o'clock. And if we were having dinner then, I could definitely go without having a snack. But because we're not eating until gone eight o'clock, I'm gonna have a little snack while I do my nails. I have been loving having chocolate digestives at the moment. I mean, who doesn't love a digestive? And of course, a cup of tea. If you don't have one of these, basically a hot water dispenser. God, absolute game changer. We did have a matching kettle to our toaster, but we've got rid of it because this is a game changer. You literally press this button on the top and it boils the exact amount of water. It's gonna make such a noise, hang on. It's literally as easy as that. This is a really big mug, but when I use my other mugs, it fills the mug to the top. You can use this stop button, so if I wanted to put like more water in and fill it up to here, I could press it again and stop it. But honestly, it boils, let me flip you around. It boils your water. I mean, I don't know if I would have left the whole clip in there, but it literally takes like 10, 15 seconds to boil. Um, and it just boils the enough water for like a standard mug so it's saving electricity because you're not boiling a whole kettle honestly game changer I think it was like 30 pound I'm just gonna sit and do my nails eat some chocolate digestives and have a cup of tea and I'll catch up with you when I'm making dinner we're going to be having our burrito bowl which we have it basically once a week it's just so nice so fresh healthy and really yummy actually yeah if you watched my vegan video i made it in there but obviously the vegan version so i'll show you this evening the non-vegan version right i will catch up with you at dinner time bye so this is the recipe that I follow for the burrito bowl. It's just from BBC Good Food and 
it's just so yummy. I'm just gonna stick you on a time lapse because I like to watch some YouTube while I'm making dinner. I'll just stick you on a time lapse and I'll show you the finished result. Everything is prepped. I'm just waiting for this just to cook a little bit longer. So in here we have got one chicken breast, a red onion, mixed beans, and then two bags of Mexican rice, and then loads of seasoning. I've got an avocado, halved, and then sliced. So we have half each, a lime, cut up into wedges. This is just like a little salsa. And then in the oven, but we've got some sweet potato wedges with paprika, salt and pepper on. And I can turn that off now. I just want to cook this for a little bit longer, just to make sure the rice is properly cooked. And then we're all ready to plate up. I almost forgot, I just get one tortilla wrap and then cut it up into like little tortilla triangles and yeah I'll show you when it's plated up and dinner is served so this is just how I plate it up and yeah it's pretty healthy to be honest and it tastes really good like I said we have this basically once a week so I'm gonna sit and enjoy this with a glass of wine I hope that you have enjoyed today's video maybe you could try some of the meals that i've eaten today i feel like this is has been a pretty typical what i eat in a day please remember to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye